everyone, it's Katie with One Music School, and today we're going to learn Secret Place by Phil Wickham. Don't forget to check out the description box below for my website. There you can find out more information about setting up a one-on-one -on -one Skype lesson with me. Also, there is a chord chart. Don't forget to hit subscribe and the like button. They let me know that you like these videos and you'd like to see more. If you want to be a part of the notification squad, hit the bell and the subscribe button. Also, leave that in the comment section below that you have done so, and you could receive a shout out in my next video. This video is dedicated to Calvin for Christ. Hi, Calvin. All right, let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing that you have to do is that you have to completely retune your guitar. That's right. So now it's going to be E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. This song uses a lot of open chords and all of the open chords that I was looking at and trying to you know, figure out, it just didn't sound quite right. There was this low, low E flat that was really, really prominent. So that's how I figured it out. We're in a drop tuning. Now from here, you're going to be playing the song in the key of E, so there's going to be lots of open chords and a couple of variations. So the first thing you need to know is the E variation for the verses. What you're going to do is you're going to take finger number one and you're going to use the pad of your pointer finger to push down on the second fret of the A and the D string. Then you're going to take finger number four, place it on the fourth fret of the G string. This is going to be very important that you leave your ring finger free, and I'll show you why. So first we have our, our low E. When we get to an E over G sharp, what you're going to do is you're going to take that ring finger, finger number three, and then place it on the fourth fret of the E string. So that's awesome to have that inversion there. Otherwise, you'd have to do it this way. And reach your pinky all the way up here. And ain't nobody got time for that. So, and also I was looking at the variation that Phil was doing, and I think this is pretty close. From here, you'll need an A. You're going to take finger number one and leave it in the second fret, but you're going to just bring it down one string closer to your toes, and you're going to cover the G, D, and the B string. The chorus and the bridge are going to be using these chords. So we have an E first. You're going to take your focus box, fingers two and three, place that on the second fret of the A and the D string, and finger number one on the first fret of the G string. You'll need an A2. So keep your ring finger on the second fret and then place your pinky right underneath on the G string of the second fret. Release fingers one and two. Then we need a B suspended. Take these two fingers, slide them up to the fourth fret, and then place your pointer finger on the second fret of the A string. This is not a bar chord, it's an open chord. So you're only pushing down on that A string. I'm gonna move my guitar so that you can see it's not a bar chord. Now from here, this is awesome because you have a C sharp minor, an open variation, by the way, and you're going to take this exact same shape and bring it up one, two frets. And now for the counts and the strumming pattern, I'm going to be teaching these together because I feel like it'll make the most sense. So first you're going to find that different E variation right here, and you are just going to be strumming down on eighth notes. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and E over G sharp. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and A. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And you're going to repeat that in order to complete the verse. But there's something interesting going on here is that it's being palm muted. What you're going to do is you're going to take this portion of your palm right here. I call it something very technical. It's called the squishy part. <laughs> so you're going to take the squishy part of your hand and you're going to gently lay it across your strings and then your wrist is going to flick down. So the motion is going to come from my wrist and not so much from my elbow when I'm strumming normally. So here's my E variation. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and three and four and one and two and three A. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now also something to note is that there are going to be accented counts and it's all going to be on the downbeat instead of on the and, which usually happens with palm muting. It's going to be on the downbeat one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now how I'm doing that is that I'm just strumming a little bit harder with my pick in order to accent that certain count. One and two and three and four and one and two.
two, and three, and four, and. Now here's something that you can add on wells when dry. So we have the A, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All I've done is that I've released the pressure from the strings just to let the strings ring out a little bit more. For the pre-chorus, we have C sharp, one and two and three and four and one and two and three, B suspended, one and two and three and four and one and two and three, A two, one and two and three, C sharp, one and two and three, B suspended, one and two and three and four and. Now around here is when I start to release that palm mute and I just keep strumming down. Then we go into the chorus. We have A, one and two and three and four, E, one and two and three and C sharp, one and two and three, B suspended, one and two and three and A, one and two and three and E, one and two and three, B suspended, now C sharp. Suspended. Last part, I'm running. C sharp. Be suspended. Hold. Now hold. Then we go back to palm muting for the interlude. We have an E to an A. One and two and three and four. Ooh. For the bridge, we have E, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and A, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and E, one and two and three and four and one and two and three, B suspended, one and two and three and four and one and two and three, C sharp minor, and two and three and four and one and two and three, A two, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and E one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four B and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and then you play that again but then you're not going to palm mute you're just going to strum openly down And that's it. That's everything that you need to know in order how to play Secret Place by Phil Wickham. The play along is next. Where will you run, my soul? Where will you go when wells run dry? When the wind starts to blow you're gonna keep this blame alive in the fading light when night is breaking i know you will always be waiting you'll always be there i'm running to the secret place Like 
night when night is breaking I know you will always be waiting You'll always be Thank you so much. God bless. Love you. Mwah. Amen. Amen.